Logan Kane here, and welcome to Paper Sorcerer, Episode 4. Let's get on to it. Yeah, let's go to the next level. And clear it, block one, and level... Anyway. Did I... I just kind of fell. That's weird. If there's anything in the darkness. Nope. Let's move on. Well, this is different. I get the distinct feeling I can fall off of here, so I'm gonna... Oh yeah, I can fall off of this. Okay. Well, guess we'll do this a few times. Get down a little lower. Pull that. Wait for the platform to come up. I'm gonna pull it again. No. Let it go down. Go over here. Pretty. Is this a boss? Standing at the center of the platform with grim solemnity is a well armored knight. I know where you're trying to go, sorcerer, and you'll never make it. The fact you have made it as far as you have speaks to your skill. However, your insurrection ends here! He hefts his sword up and enters into an attack stance. Alright, I guess this is our first boss, and probably that night that dude was warning us about. Wait, he said if there's a black pit, jump into it. The goblin did. Maybe I'll jump into the black pit here. It's probably gonna kill me, but... I'll give it a shot. I'll save first. Anyway. This is a boss. Let's steal from him. Oh. Well, let's do stealth. Generate some energy. Uh, we'll just do an attack. I don't have the energy for this. And you're gonna focus. We entered this battle very, very ill-prepared. How's my cultist doing? Three or four? We're gonna go ahead... Divine Power. Plus at zero HP? What? Ooh. Cultist didn't like that. Alright, let's buffer, guys. Alright, back to the goblin. Let's do... Let's do this cheap shot. Minotaur, can you do a... Yeah, let's do Brutal Strike. And... Probably... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a Frostfall. I forgot about that skill. Oh, crap. That's right, so you use all of my skill points. Oh, well. Let's just do a regular heal on himself. Steals items and damages one chunk. Stole 20 gems. Nah, I was hoping to steal an item or something. Oh, well. Yeah. Hit my miniature is the preferred person for you to be hitting. Wow, 25 damage. My sorcerer, well, me, I guess. Definitely gonna have to focus again this turn. Who for skills? Nothing. Let's attack. And sorcerer. You're gonna focus, of course. Minotaur, you probably can't do anything, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a couple of turns. Regular attack, though. And the cultist, do we need to heal anybody? I don't think so. Wait. Let's go back. Or focus. Whoops. Oh well. Focus is the other thing I wanted to do anyway, so it's, it's all good. Jeez. That hurts. Probably better that I focused. I need the energy to kill the goblin. It's okay. Can we stun? No. What do I need to stun? Need a lot more energy. Let's go ahead and go into stealth mode. And yeah, I'm not gonna use ball rush. Attack. I'm not gonna use an AoE on a single guy. Go ahead and do a black bolt. See where this takes us. Oh right. 
do regular heal to the old goblin. Alright. Let's see how this goes. The beam of arcane energy. Boom! Nowhere near as impressive as the frost ray. Ooh, he hit the goblin again? Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fully healed him. Screw it, I can use the black bolt. I'm gonna use the black bolt again. I should be able to by now, I think. No, not brutal strike yet. Next turn. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's go ahead and stun. Sorry about that. And Yeah, let's smite. Go ahead, smite that son of a bitch. Whoa! 23 damage to my sorcerer. Not cool. Hopefully this guy drops soon. You bet. That's not good. Damn. He evaded the sun. He took the damage still, so that's good. Should be able to brutal strike. Yeah. I don't think I can do anything with him. Just gonna have to attack. And then the Sorcerer... Black Bolt, yeah. I guess I can continuously Black Bolt, maybe? The Cultist is going to have to heal so far. i heal the Sorcerer. Really glad I went with the Cultist now. Those extra heals are... Wow, 38 damage. There's a fly buzzing around my face. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow! That was close. I have to heal him again. Wait, do I have any abilities? Uh, one more turn for trick attack again. Okay, I'll just wait for the trick attack. Cultist, you're gonna do a regular. Uh oh. I guess I'll do a quick heal. On the sorcerer. And you're gonna. You're gonna focus. Minotaur. Hmm. I wish it told me how many turns I had left. I wish this, the die would count down. That'd be awesome. But it doesn't, whatever. Let's go ahead and do a regular attack. A weak, but reliable. Skills. 6 HP, yeah, that is weak. Shit. I might have to put him in guard mode if he gets hit again. Oh, thank god. Cultist is... Oh. Shit. I'm out of energy with everyone except the person that doesn't really matter. The sorcerer. 35 gems, one iron longsword, one basic rage pool, and 550 experience. Minotaur, level 4. Blood rage. Cultist, level 4. Restore defense. Wow. Restores defense for the whole party. That's fucking cool. Smoke bomb. Blinds all enemies. Okay. Now, they did say jump into the black pit. However, I just had a boss fight, which admittedly wasn't that hard, but I want to save before I do this. Did that save? I don't even know. I'll just tell it to save again, just in case. Alright, Dromino! You hear a voice in your head. You need to be more careful. I can't save you every time. Well, so much for that feather. Okay. I wonder who that was. Mouse? Oh, well. Let's get on over here. Search comes up for those. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and start pulling these just to... Okay, it does go up. Well, so much for jumping into a black pit. Ah, dang it. And back down. Almost fell off. That'd have been funny. Well, on through the door. Whoa. That's... That paper feel, it's like a tear in... 
Are these tears in the pages of the book or something? Because that'd be weird. Anyway. Oh, I guess that's the pit to fall into. I guess I don't have any other choice. I guess even if I kept that idol, I would have still got the feather. Steel Greatsword, 21 to 40 damage. Jesus, shit. Do I have anybody that can use it? Equipment. Now he can use these swords, but I don't ever have him attack normally, so... <clears throat> Do you use swords? I think you just use daggers. Just daggers. And the cleric uses maces. Mm, yippy dippy. Berserker can use a rune? Oh, hell yeah. HP and strength. He can't use swords. I guess I'm the only one that can use swords. Great. That's plus one magic. Anything else? I guess the sorcerer, I guess the sorcerer can use anything. I guess that's the takeaway here. But I'd rather have the plus one magic damage, because, like I said, I always use magic. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the end of this level, because I'm going to jump down this hole. This is probably the end of the episode. Well, let's find out. As you fall, you start to feel lightheaded. And right before you black out, the strangest sensation comes over you. Feels like your body is getting pushed through a cheese grater, but not in a painful way. Yep. Damn trigger finger. As you come as you come to, you are approached by a woman you've never met, but who seems familiar. I'm glad you finally made it. Based off your reputation, I thought that knight wouldn't even stand a chance, but he gave you a good bit of a challenge. We've met before, haven't we? Well, you're a perceptive one. That's going to come in handy. Some call me the spirit of the book, and this is the sanctuary, a safe place for all who seek escape from Librum Clostrum. Well, relatively safe. You don't get sealed in here for being nice. Anyway, let's get down to business. You see, even though this book we're in is our prison, it's still a book, subject to all the frailty and limitations of any book. Books are held together by their bindings, and if their bindings are broken... Obviously pleased with herself, she pauses with self-satisfied air. The Librum is broken into blocks. Each block consists of three floors guarding the built binding, and the binding itself. You will need to ascend through Librum, breaking the bindings on every block. When the last one is broken, we may do as we please. Now I'm going to teach you a powerful spell that will undo those bindings. It's called the Chant of Unmaking. Well, that's creative. You quickly learn the spell, taking only a few hours. Is that quick? I don't know. Maybe spells are really quick to learn. You're a quick learner. Before you go back, you should acquaint yourself with some of the locals here. Some of the heroes in Limbrum could tear you apart as you are now, so you're going to need some help. Ah, I'm trying to get this voice down. I can't do females. Also, here, take this. She hands you a large palm-sized gem covered in spiraling runes. That will enable you to return here whenever you want. Your next destination should be blocked too. I've heard it smells awful. Make sure to take a bath when you get back. Good luck. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is not at all how I expected this to, to be. So I guess this is a little town like Darkest Dungeon or something. Let's check out the merchant. When you enter the shop, you hear a loud, grating, metallic voice in your mind. Buy something mortal and waste not my time! <laughs> a zombie points towards a shelf with a variety of items. Is he for sale? Okay, let's let's sell stuff. Sell usables. No. We'll keep those. Sell treasure. I don't need a mop. Or a book. Or a scrap of leather. Wait, why would I switch characters? Why is my sorcerer the lowest level? It's weird. Okay. Snuff box. Broom. Leather. Oh, 
I don't think there's crafting in this game, so... I hope I'm, uh... Hope I'm not making a mistake by selling everything right here. Ah, dang it! Just... There you go. Okay, that's all taken care of. Just quest items, usable weapon, whatever. Let's check out the buy. Let's see. A plus two magic. Eh. A one to twenty dollar axe. Eh. Let's see. Of course, it doesn't show anything useful. If I could see my inventory, that would be nice. Anyway, I think they can only use axes. There's the 1 to 20 damage axe. I guess I'll just back out. Okay. Let's go to talk. Let's talk to the goblin. Sometimes the guards get bored and they play some kind of weird game with a snake. Well, that's weird. Is this a scroll? Nope. I can't. I don't know what to do for a water demon. The overseer of block two is Gilex the Decimator, supposedly because he'll chop you into tents. Eh, didn't seem too impressive to me though. Maybe you should try having a bit more finesse. Okay. It's all useless. What about my room? Can I see my inventory in my ooh? No, I don't want to rest just yet. I want to see what my weapons are. Okay, so he could use the axe, and he could use the mace. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Let's buy an axe and a mace. Iron axe. And where's the mace? Guitars, chains, daggers, great swords, whatever. Maybe I didn't need that mace. I guess I already have one. Whoopsies. Well, I think I will get the mage. Or the mage. The m staff. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's check out armor. Ooh. I'd actually lose defense from wearing it. Is that what that means? Cultist would go up with scale armor. So I guess I'll buy one of those. That's, I guess that's what that means. Check out accessories. What about accessory twos? Yeah. Shield? Why not? I'll pick up shield. Let's exit here. Let's go check out the strange old house. Get an unsettling feeling from this decrepit old house. The inside of the house is empty, except for a figure sitting in a high back chair, opposing a roaring fire. Ah, uh, you're the one who just escaped, aren't you? The figure asks in an elderly voice. Come closer. There's something you can help me with. It appears you have a follower. It's okay, you can show yourself. The ball of light you found earlier appears from behind you and floats towards the chair. I guess that wasn't his voice, whoops. I've been looking for you, the old voice says as he crumples the ball of light up like a piece of paper and tosses it in the fire. I'm in charge of the souls of the dead here in Libro. 
When someone dies, I send their soul to rest in the catacombs until they can be set free from the limb problem. However, there are some mischievous souls who have hidden from me. They scattered themselves across the from one each block. You feel a weight in your hand. Looking down, you're holding a small black stone. Use that stone to trap the wayward spirits. For every spirit you bring me, I'll allow you to visit a level of catacombs. Not only will you find treasures of the dead, but you'll be able to lock more of your power as well. Just beware that the restless spirits of those defeated they will attack you ceaselessly. Now go! Return when you find another of the lost souls. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get the fuck out of here. And then a skills trainer. Let's check out the skills trainer. I can train you and realize your full potential for a price. Choose which character you'd like to train. Okay, so I spend gems to train my characters. Oh, and I can level up specific things. Interesting. Let's... You know what? Let's look at the sorcerer. You need just regular defense. Yeah. Let's do a defensive training. We'll buy one of those. And then that's all I'm going to buy from this guy. And then there's back to the map. We'll go back to my room. Go back to the room. Defense potion. A tomb of heroes. Don't know what it does. It's a tomb of heroes. Let's see what happens when we take a nap, and then after that, we can go ahead and end this video. You lay down and close your eyes. Sleep comes quickly. Party members refreshed. Okay, cool. That just heals me. Oh, well. Go ahead and grab some restoration crystals. Nothing wrong with that. Looks like a bunch of healing stuff. Yep, a bunch of healing stuff. Oh, wait, I should probably be in the room so I can actually save, eh? Anyway, I suppose that'll be it for episode... What are we on? Four? For episode four of Paper Sorcerer. Thanks for watching, as always. Enjoy!